okay so let us move to our next topic in the previous class we were discussing about the hcf of the numbers uh, finding the hcf of the numbers by using the euclid's division algorithm uh, then we see that some algorithms based on the euclid's division algorithm now let us solve few more questions that are based on the euclid's division algorithm so our next question is uh, find the hcf of find the hcf of find the hcf of 81 and 237 81 and 237 and express it and express it as a linear combination of as a linear combination of as a linear combination of 81 and 237 is a linear combination of 81 and 237 okay so that's our topic linear combination now let us come to the solution of this question how we will solve this question first let us find the hcf of 81 and 237 by using the euclid's division algorithm so uh, among these two numbers 237 is greater than 81 so we will divide 237 by 81 so we can write like this When 237 is divided by 81, here the quotient is 2 and the remainder comes out to be 75. That is the first division. Now in the second step, the divisor of the previous step will become the dividend and we will divide it by the remainder of the previous step. So when 81 is divided by 75, again the quotient is 1 and remainder is 6. Now in the second third step, we will divide 75 by 6. Okay, this time the quotient is equals to twelve, and remainder comes out to be three. Now in the final step, we will divide six by three. Quotient is two, and in this step, the remainder comes out to be zero. So uh, the stage at which the remainder becomes zero is the HCF. At that stage, the divisor is the HCF of the two numbers. So here, HCF of these two numbers comes out to be three. Now uh, in this question. we have to express it as a linear combination of 81 and 2 so first of all let us discuss what is the meaning of the term that is the linear combination okay write down few things about linear combination linear combination uh, hcf of two positive integers we can write here hcf if we denote it by d hcf of two positive integers HCF of two positive integers a and b, HCF of two positive integers a and b can be expressed can be expressed can be expressed as a linear combination of is a linear combination of is a linear combination of A and B as a linear combination of A and B. Okay, uh, we can write like this. It can be written that T is equals to uh, x A plus y B. Okay, x A for some integers x and y. For some integers, for some integers x and y. For some integers x and y. Also, this representation is not unique. Okay, we can also write also. Also, this representation is not unique. Also, this representation is not unique. Also, this representation is not unique uh, because why it is not unique? Let us come to because uh, if you are writing d is equals to x a. Plus y b. Okay. Now, if we add some term in this expression, x a plus y b. If we are adding here a b and subtracting a b, then this expression will look like this. Now, in the next expression, we are taking some common from x a and a b, then some common from y b and a b. So our next next term will look like this. D is equals to. It will look like this. D is equals to that is x plus a that is uh, sorry that is x plus that is x plus b into a plus y minus a 
y minus a into b. Okay, so again we can see that a and b are expressed as a linear combination. Now here the coefficient are x plus b and y minus a. So that's why we can say this representation is not unique. Okay, we can have many values of such x and y for which a and b can be expressed as a linear combination. Okay, now let us come to the question. In our question, how we will express it as a linear combination? Okay, so we can write to represent uh, to represent to represent the HCF as a linear combination to represent the HCF as a linear combination of as a linear combination of as a linear combination of given two numbers of given two numbers we start from the last we start from the last but one step we start from the last we start from the last but one step last but one step means we start from the second last step okay and successively and and successively eliminate the previous remainders as follows and successively eliminate eliminate the previous remainders previous remainders uh, as follows okay so we are starting from the last but one step so in the last and uh, second last step the remainder is equals to 3 so we can replace 3 uh, like this how can we change 3 we can change 3 like this that is 3 is equals to 75 minus 6 into 12 now in the second step 3 is equals to in the second step the remainder is 6 so we will eliminate 6 like this we can place in in the place of 6 that is 81 minus 75 into 1 and the whole bracket is multiplied by 12 if you simplify this equation that 3 is equals to 75 minus 81 into 12 then plus 75 into 12 okay if we write this term systematically we can write 3 is equals to uh, 75 into 13 minus 81 into 12 now in the next step we can write we can eliminate uh, 75 as in the next step remainder is 75 so 75 can be written as that is 13 into that is 237 minus that is 237 that is 237 minus 81 into 2 minus 81 into 12 now we simplify this equation then it will comes out to be that is 13 into 237 13 into 237 then minus 26 into 81 minus 12 into 81 and in the last step we can write that is 3 is equals to 13 into 237 minus 38 into 81 okay so now if you represent this like this that is 3 is equals to 237 x that is 237 x plus 81 y okay now here we can write where x is equals to 13 okay here we can write where x is equals to uh, 13 and where x is equals to 13 and y is equals to minus 38 okay so by this way we have expressed 3 as a linear combination of 237 and the 81 okay so by this way we can solve the questions and then and we can express the numbers as a linear combination of given two numbers uh, let us solve one more question uh, we come to the next question that is again best that is second question uh, if d is the hcf of if d is the if d is the hcf of 56 and 72 if d is the hcf 56 and 72 then find xy then find x comma y satisfying 
and then find x comma y satisfying d is equals to 56x plus 72y. So let us come to the solution of this question. How we will solve this? Uh, by using applying Euclid's division and lemma. By using Euclid. By using Euclid's division lemma. Euclid's division lemma. Uh, 72 is equals to it can be written as 56 into 1 plus 16 in the first step we are dividing 72 by 56 now in the second step 56 is equals to 16 into 3 plus 8 in the next step we will divide 16 by 8 so when 16 is divided by 8 that is 8 into 2 and remainder comes out to be 0 now the step at which remainder becomes 0 at this step, our divisor is the HCF. So here, HCF. HCF of these two numbers comes out to be 8. Now, we want to express HCF of these two numbers as a linear combination. So again, we will proceed like this. We will start from the second last step. So, we can write here, that is 8 is equals to, it can be written as 56 minus 16 into 4. Uh, sorry, 16 into 3. We can write 56 minus 16 into 3. In the second step, uh, we will replace 16 by like this because 16 is the remainder of that step. So 8 is equals to 56 minus 72 minus 56 into 1. All bracket multiply by 3. If we simplify this, we can write it like this. That is 8 is equals to 56 minus 3 into 72 plus 56 into 3 plus 56 into 3 okay so in this step in the next step we can write that is 8 is equals to 56 into 4 minus 72 into 3 okay now we have expressed 56 and 72 as the linear combination of their HCF that is equals to 8 now here again we can write the values of x and y are value of x is equals to 4 and value of y is equals to minus 3. So by this way we can express at shape of any two numbers as the linear combination of the given two numbers. That's for today. Thanks.